everyone and welcome back to Cloud's channel. I know it's been such a long time but we're here and I really wanted to do an Italian Greyhound life update. Um, it's been a long time since we uploaded anything on this channel and I just want you guys to know that we're still here, we're doing good and I just wanted to go over a couple things that have happened since the last time we've uploaded anything and yeah. Um, and just like any other video before, I want to mention I am no expert at Italian Greyhounds, nor am I an expert at dogs. This is just me telling you guys my experience and are you tired? <laughs> and what it's been like for me having an Italian Greyhound. I know I've had lots of comments on my other videos and I really do apologize for any that I did not respond to. And I also want to say thank you so much for subscribing to our channel, even people who were still subscribing when we weren't posting anything. So I'm assuming you had hopes that we would post again someday soon. And today's the day. I really want to keep continuing to upload some videos, especially about him because he's such an interesting little guy, so yeah. And if this is your first time watching our channel, this is Cloud, I'm Ariana. Um, it's been about a year on Monday since we've had Cloud, so I think now is the time for me to fully give my experience without just going based off a couple of months of, you know, having him as an addition to our family. I think it makes more sense now to kind of go over things that have been going on in our life. So it makes more sense to make this type of video. And if you guys have any other ideas or any other um, type of situations that you want to see if I've gone through it as well, please leave it in the comments below and I will try to make videos based on what you guys are asking for. Other than that, I'm kind of like... What am I supposed to make a video about um, other than, you know, like sitting down and talking about my experience. But if there's something in something particular that you want to know, um, again, leave it in the comments and I will do my best to answer your guys' questions. Um, and again, I'm sorry for not responding um, back as soon as I would like to. There's just been so much that's been going on in our life. So let's get started with what's changed. Um, in my last videos, you guys did know one thing, one important thing to point out is that we do live in an apartment. Um, however, we did move about a month ago. So we are in a new apartment which has way more space for this little guy and um, it's so much better. It's a two bedroom, bigger living room. There's like just so much more space for him. He has his own little area and a lot has changed for the way we do things with him. So I want to update you guys on that as well because I do know that there was questions about how we handle things. Um, and I'm going to go through the questions on my phone and answer them now and have them here. Let's get started. You're so tired. He just wants to lay down and watch. <laughs> this is your video. Come over here. This is your channel. Come here, lay down. Okay, so before I go ahead and um, answer some of these questions or go over kind of the past, um, like I said, we've just moved into a new place. Another thing is I did start kind of another channel that's more family related. Um, I've been really focused on that, so that's why he has not had a lot of uploads on his channel. But I really want to stay with this channel as well, even if it is a once in a month or once every week. I just have to figure out um, time. I've just been really focused on another channel, which I'll link down below. It's called the Rhodes Family Channel, but I'll also link it down below. Um, and I do want to mention um, all the changes that have gone on. So first things first is when I made my last video, I talked about how I didn't have the job. Um, I did end up working at Victoria's Secret. I stayed there for a couple months. The hours were insane. I think I was getting like 35 um, plus hours sometimes and I'd gotten promoted in that job so fast I didn't think that was going to happen and by the time, you know, if you work retail, you know what it's like. You're constantly working like crazy hours. Um, normally you close on the weekends you're working so that was insane. I ended up leaving that job and then getting another job which was a full-time job and I thought cool great like I'll have more time to make videos and um, share my experiences and things like that but then I was working so much I was working 40 plus hours a week and I was just so tired and then I ended up leaving that job not that long ago because I am now pregnant. So that's another thing is I'm pregnant. He is going to be a big brother. So a lot has changed um, and we've moved and, you know, we were getting used to just living in Colorado itself. And I was trying to kind of like make friends or just get to know people. So I wasn't stuck inside all the time. But then I was also training him 
during that process when I was filming when we first got him but now it's been a year and it's finally like feels more comfortable for me to kind of just tell you like what we've tried worked and what didn't work and um, what's changed it seems like it makes more sense to kind of be able to say how I feel or things that we've done and what works and what's pretty much um, permanent and not temporary and um, pretty much on the family channel I am vlogging my pregnancy experience right now uh, I do want to do a video where it's about like how my dog's changed since I've been pregnant because he's definitely changed and I'll kind of go over that in a video on that channel maybe I'll do something similar on this channel um, I'll just have to see how things play out um, but there's just been a lot that's changed so sorry if I'm just like rambling all these things but there's just been so much in our lives that have just changed and uh, it's been kind of crazy so um, yeah so there's that and also too I totally don't know why I never mentioned this in his past videos but I actually have a video on that channel which I will link below um, in the description where I made a video of when we were getting um, Cloud and I don't know why I, f I failed to mention that when I was making his channel to begin with so that will be in there and um, it's a little cringy when I watch it back I'm just like oh my gosh I was so passionate at that time so I do want to go over that so before you go before you go and watch that video let me just explain something that I that doesn't sit with me well now and I've totally changed my opinion on so so in that video there is oops in that video there is a part where I am very passionate and talking about how if you get an animal you have to like keep this animal that it should be your animal for a lifetime and like don't purchase animals and just like get rid of them when you've had enough of them things like that and don't get me wrong I totally stand by that today I feel like if you're going to get an animal you have to be responsible for it you can't just purchase um, an animal just for the heck of it because you know especially a dog they look up to you they're excited to, they think you're their forever home and it's just really a lot of stress especially with Italian greyhounds you don't want them bouncing from house to house to house um, and I was just so passionate about that the only thing I want to take back is the fact that I said um, you should keep your dog and blah 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 so what I mean by that now and now that I look back because obviously the feelings were different when we actually brought him home I kind of want to change a little bit of how I said that or what I'm not what I meant because I, I did I was passionate about what I meant I think I just want to change now how I feel if that makes sense once we brought him home after picking him up and you'll see in that vlog the journey and the process of how that happened um, we got home, I was so excited, and you know, I, I, you don't really know what it's like to have an Italian Greyhound, and I mean that, I'm not just saying like a dog, Italian Greyhound, because their personality, the w things that they do, the way that they are, they're just, there's certain parts of them that are just not going to change, and some people just don't understand what it is to own a a dog like this or a breed like this until you have one for yourself and I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit naive going into the process I knew that once I got him this was gonna be my forever little buddy but I was naive about how it was gonna be like for him to transition from one home to another and what that might really look like I was obviously willing to put up with crying or you know him being stressed and just me being there for him I was totally up for that but I didn't realize how much crying i didn't realize how much anxiety he would have gone through and um i was not i'm not gonna lie i was scared the first like two nights i was really worried about is this gonna be like every single night you know i live in an apartment um i'm so scared about you know noise complaints we had just moved there that week um i was worried so i do want to change a little bit of what i said if that makes sense <laughs> and by that i just mean don't give up on your dog. I'm so happy I didn't give up on him, especially with my husband. He helped me a lot tremendously. Like we were just a team about being there for him and you know, doing our best to figure out what makes him happy. Um, don't give up. And if you truly say it's like two, three, four months in and you really realize that you don't have the time nor the attention to give to your dog or 
just the amount of focus that they need from you I'm not saying get rid of your dog I'm saying either find another way to make it work or if you absolutely can't make it work please try to find a home where it will be their forever home and that the person fully understands what it's going to be like because these dogs do need a lot of attention and a lot of people don't realize that and I I'm gonna be honest I didn't realize that until he got here even now um, but because it's our new routine and I'm so used to him he's so used to me I am okay with it I'm fine with it and it doesn't affect me in any way um, it just depends on your own personal lifestyle I can't stress it enough how much time and energy I put into training him being there for him making him feel comfortable in a new home um that's just you know something that i was willing to do and then also because i quit my job i was here more with him and being able to focus on him and things like that but a lot has changed i also had him become my emotional support dog so that way um, if i went on planes to go visit family in california he was able to be with me and i wasn't going to be super stressed I do suffer from anxiety and depression disorder and I've had that since 2017 and me moving here with no friends, no family, he was my first buddy. We got him the first week we moved here so he definitely helped and you know we were there for each other, we were little buddies, we spent all the time together, he loves being with me and of course I love being with him. Um, I do think that these types of dogs also make really good emotional support animals and then just getting to know him and his little personality like it's honestly for me he's the perfect dog for me and uh, my little family and you just have to see if that is the case for you but I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of just talk about other stuff and then I'm gonna go into the questions other than us moving the fact that I'm pregnant the fact that I had two jobs and then currently a stay-at-home mom which is fine it worked out perfect that was kind of the plan as soon as I got pregnant I was planning to go back to work but I didn't like that job and with this whole COVID quarantine like the world has really changed in the past like nine or ten months since we've uploaded it's been crazy so I figured I have all this time now is the time to you know get serious and make these videos so other than those changes um, I will say a lot of the way that I did things in past videos have also changed, um, but I'll go ahead and just read the questions and hopefully some of those will correlate to how we do things now. So I'm looking at the very first video and that is, is it the very first video? Let me see. So the very first video I uploaded was how to stop your Italian Greyhound from crying because they love to cry those first couple nights, even maybe a month that you have them. So I'll go ahead and read those. Okay, so this one says, I might just read the comments. Uh, this is from Boston McDonald. Hopefully you're still subscribed. Again, I'm sorry for not responding. These videos have been great. We are in the process of figuring out sleeping arrangements for our little two month old pup. Made the same mistake at first with the big crate, but sorted that out. We want to crate her at night, but also living in an apartment and are very afraid of receiving noise complaints. Well, that was three months ago, so hopefully you figured that out, and hopefully you figured out a routine. But I totally understand about noise complaints and living in an apartment. Um, like I said, with changing our crate situation, it totally changed everything. He stopped the crying. He now is comfortable. I mean, he's been comfortable with staying in his own little crate. He's at the foot of our bed, so he knows we're there. I think as long as you have them in your room, I mean, if we were to put him in a separate room or keep him in the living room, for sure he would cry. So I would just suggest keeping them in your room or somewhere close by to where they can either see you or just know that you're there. Um, but I know for a fact if I were to put him in the living room, he would definitely cry and um, it just wouldn't work. So we just put him at the foot of our bed in a crate and it works best for us. That being said though, with the whole crate situation we did keep him in a small crate for quite a few months until he was pretty solid because he was making um or going potties in his big crate and that's why i said in my potty training video like nope that's not gonna work i don't want him to think that it's okay to do that so i believe after like five or six months we did transition him back into the big crate and he has not since then made a mistake so the only reason why we did that is because I wanted him to be comfortable and feel like it's a safe place. Um, 
when he sleeps and he's not like super uncomfortable i just felt bad seeing him crammed in the little one depending on your size of um, iggy as well he's pretty small so the small crate did work for him but i just always felt like he was super uncomfortable so i only did that so that he knew he wasn't supposed to go potties in there um, but now he has not made any mistakes and again we're using the bigger crate as of like since six months five or six months um, and he hasn't done anything so other than that we're good okay so let's see the next one i'm going into is how to train how to, how to potty train your italian greyhound um i love your this is from eb i love your videos i just adopted an italian greyhound he's three months my question is what do you guys do when you leave the house and he is by himself does he freak out the whole time he is in his crate or do you do you seclude him to a specific room so yes before um i also mentioned in my past videos we kept him in a crate i believe i think that's what i said in my last video we did keep him in a crate and we had a camera on him um, we would put him in the living room keep him in the crate and then set up our camera so that we could see him no matter where we were we could just open up the app and just see how he's doing um we would put a toy in there and i still felt like he had really bad anxiety so even at our old apartment i think we did that for like two months and then once we changed the whole crate situation and we felt like he was really good about going potty on his pads we gave him the whole entire living room so even here at our new place the whole living room is his we have a baby crate or a baby gate that is blocked off from the kitchen and all he has access to is the living room he doesn't chew on cords um he did chew our remote that we left out and that was totally our fault um but other than that he hasn't destroyed anything so we just let him own the living room every morning we let him out of the crate at seven o'clock usually like when my husband goes to work and then he lets him into the living room his pads out he already knows to go potties we don't even watch him anymore he just does his own thing we have a carpet for him that he can play on he hasn't made any mistakes on it you want to make sure you get a thin carpet though not one that has a bunch of fur um, he has his bed out here, his toys, his food, his water. He has access to everything um, the whole entire day. Even when I am here, which I am here 24-7 now that, you know, the pandemic and everything. Um, but also even before then when I was at work, he had the whole place to himself and then there was really no issue. So I think as long as you have everything tucked away, if you want to try it out, I suggest giving it a try if you're able to do so and then see how your Iggy does but it works for us he doesn't really get into mischief he really just sleeps all day he's so lazy um or he'll play like with his toys we have so many toys laid out and I think I'll just kind of do like in the next video like a little view of like our place so you can see how it's set up um but right now it's just really messy so I'm not gonna do that today um but yeah, his toys are everywhere right now. He's got his pee pad, his food, his water's right next to me, his bed. Um, we keep the TV on for him even when we do leave. We don't really keep the camera up anymore because he does perfectly fine. If he does cry, it's like for two seconds and then he's over it and he does his own thing. Um, but yeah, he has his own place, his own little his own little space. And if you're able to do that, I would recommend doing that. Next comment. This is by Shona. I've been looking for this exact video for such a long time. I want an Italian Greyhound so bad, but it'll just be me in my apartment. So I wanted to know if that is possible to pad train an Iggy. And then someone did reply and it says, I got a puppy, Italian Greyhound, this is by Evie. I live alone as well and I'm going through potty training at the moment. So far it's going pretty good, which I'm happy to hear. My concern with him is going forward is not so much potty training, but how he will do alone when I go back to work. I'm working from home at the moment. From all the research I've done, these dogs don't really like to be left alone for very long and like to be attached to people. I'm currently speaking to a dog trainer with tips and things I can do so that even though he may not ever love to be alone, at least eventually he can grow to tolerate it while I'm at work. So to be honest, they're never going to tolerate being alone. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting a trainer or wasting your money on that unless they know um, about this breed specifically because I too thought about that in the beginning when we first got him and you do panic when you get an animal who's crying and is not acting like other dogs you may have had in the past and that was really my huge concern um, but I do feel like you just kind of have to 
try things out and see how it works, but they're never going to get used to being alone. This breed does not like to be alone. They like to be in packs or they like to be with an owner and that's just plain and simple. I'll also be doing like a pros and cons video. I think that'll be my next upload to owning one of these. But um, if you're gone for 8-12 hours a day, I say try the living room method and giving them their space, like leaving their pad out. Don't keep them in a crate and have their food accessible to them, their water accessible, their bed, a bunch of toys, put the TV on. Just try that. Make sure you don't have anything out. If you want to tuck all your cords away um, and make sure everything's up. We don't really have a lot of stuff in here for that specific reason. Um, but like I said, we have like a PlayStation out and like movies and stuff and he doesn't ever mess with it. I have a plug to my sofa that runs right here. He never does anything with it. So it really just depends on your Iggy. I just can't say, um, you know, how yours would react. I would just say give it a try. And if you want, set up a camera. Because that's what we did with him too. When we left him alone in the living room for about a week or so, we would test it. We would literally go to the store um, purposely to see how he would act when we left. And he would cry in the beginning, but then he was like, okay, they're not here, so I'm just going to go lay down or I'm going to go play with my toys. So they definitely get used to it um and i don't think he's had any issues he doesn't seem sad or anything like that he's so happy when we get back home i will just say when you do leave don't pay attention to them just make it seem like it's normal don't give them that attention because it's going to seem like a bad thing every time you do leave you kind of just want to be consistent and like have a routine so i would definitely just try it and see i mean it doesn't hurt to try for me things are things if he were to damage stuff i mean most of it is replaceable he's never damaged anything other than a remote and that was because we left it on the floor he got to it he chewed it up um, it had to be stress so I mean we've left him I would say the longest we've left him probably nine to ten hours because that's how much that's how long my shift was but then my husband would come home during lunch so he would have interaction and then my husband would go back my husband could come here for lunch and go to work but I couldn't because my lunch was super short and my husband had an hour so he wasn't completely alone all throughout the day to be honest so I think he just did very well. It really just depends. I would just say try it. Let's look up another one. So this is from David Nakaz or Naki. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Our two Iggy's are pad trained except when they are not. My daughter was the one who hit on giving a treat as a reward for peeing on her pad. Our second learned from the first. Our second learned from the first. Okay. Downside for this is having to have treats available 24-7. I recommend Clorox urine remover and crate treating. Our girls will rage pee where they aren't supposed to if given the chance, which is why there are Italian Greyhound Rescue organizations across the country. So with that being said, I've said this in the beginning of my potty training, I never rewarded him with treats. For one, I didn't want to have to him to get used to only doing stuff when he knew he was getting a treat because then I would get frustrated and you're wasting money buying all these treats every time you're trying to get them to do something. And you're also ruining their teeth by giving them way too many treats. They have very fragile teeth. If you didn't know this about Italian Greyhounds, you should. Um, they do get bad teeth problems as they get older and this is something that everyone should hopefully know, which I don't think I've mentioned in my videos, but we do brush his teeth at least once or twice a week. Some people can do it every single day, and then we have taken him to the vet as well to get his teeth cleaned. So, we get his teeth cleaned at the vet. I mean, his teeth are really nice. Like, his teeth look good, but again, we take really good care of his teeth because you have to when owning an Italian Greyhound. Um, and then with the whole rage ping, that's another reason I'm not saying this is bad on anyone's part. It really just depends on your patience, your time, and what you're able to do. We chose not to get two Italian Greyhounds at the same time because of that reason. They learn from one another um, <laughs> and you don't know their personalities. You don't know one could be a follower, one could be a leader, um, and also one could be really bad and pick up those traits and that's why we chose not to. We have, for the past couple months, kept thinking, should we get another Italian Greyhound? Should we, you know, bring him a little buddy because we want him to have that 
comfort and support because like I said they do get lonely but I'm always home with the baby on away. I don't know how he's going to act with a baby constantly being in my arms. That's why I have my separate channel and kind of showing all the stages and things that I'm going through being pregnant. But then I also want to do videos to show how he acts, how he reacts when the baby comes home, things like that. So we have been considering getting another puppy. Just not sure if it's going to be another Iggy or if it's going to be a different breed. Um, I just fully haven't made my decision for that exact reason. And then another thing I want to point out is, I've said this, but when owning an Italian Greyhound, and I learned this from the breeder, and she, when we sat down and went to go pick him up, she simply stated, don't get an Italian Greyhound if you think that they will never make an accident in your home. Because it happens, they get excited, they get scared, they have, they're very emotional dogs and in her 15 years of breeding them and owning them and you know having show dogs and things like that, she's never known a perfect Iggy. And that's just the truth, that's the case. And if that's something you're worried about or like really concerned about or you're still having those issues, I hate to break it to you, but that's just what happens. Um, thankfully with him, I don't really have that huge of an issue. And I thought with having a boy dog, he would want to mark his territory all over the place, but he doesn't. I don't know if it could be just his personality or how he is, but I, from my personal experience with him throughout this year, um, he's just not that way. So it could just be girls are that way. I'm not sure. I don't have a girl Iggy and I've never looked into that. So um, I would just suggest maybe training them one at a time. I just, I really couldn't say. Next question. This one says, hi. Oh, this is from Angela, Angela Gaxiola. I hope I said that right. Hi, where did you get your Iggy and how much did you pay? Someone commented and said, I found mine on Craigslist, but they tend to be very expensive. Most are more than $600, some over a thousand. I looked out and found one for only $350. That was from AG, and I hate to say it to you, do not buy your Italian Greyhound. I mean, I don't want to be that type of person to tell you what not, what not to do. We could have done that. We could have bought an Iggy for really cheap, but I wanted a little buddy that I was going to have for a really long time. I wanted to have a healthy dog. I wanted to be sure that I was purchasing from a responsible breeder, and he was about, I think he was 1400 or something like that but again with cost of flying to get him and all those different things and where we got him which in the video will be below it'll explain all that um to me it's worth it it's really just based on your mindset of things i just feel like i wanted a responsible breeder um he has paperwork that even tells me all of his genetics and things like that what he's had done to him i didn't want to just get some dog that could possibly die when i brought him home or got sick or had a disease that I wasn't unsure about. Um, anything that I need to know about my Iggy, I do know. I even have a picture of his mommy. I know I've actually met his mom when we were there. <laughs> I actually met his mom. Um, but I knew where his dad came from. Like he has, I have paperwork that shows like the history um, even before his mom. So it really just depends what you're willing to pay for, I guess. But what you're gonna get what you pay for, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not saying you have to buy a million dollar something to get like the best out of it, but that's just my opinion. I don't know. That's just how I feel. So totally up to you. And the last comment on this one was just from um, Cecilia Bergman who, it's a rude comment kind of in a way and well not, it was not really that rude, but totally her opinion. It just says maybe you should take the dog out instead of treating it like a cat potty outside like normal dogs do. I would never use pads for my dogs. I'm so lazy. Um, that's totally your opinion. It works for me. I live in an apartment and he is allowed to go potties outside. We do take him outside. And like I've said in my comments and other people who also know what it's like to have an Iggy, um, wherever they're comfortable peeing, that's just how it is. I'm not going to force him to go outside when it's freezing cold and he's shivering. Um, or when it's super hot, I don't know. He's totally fine peeing inside or outside. It's totally up to him. Even when we do take him outside, he doesn't really ever care to go outside. We've gone on a lot of walks, so I guess that's just 
your opinion and a lot of people have them that doesn't necessarily mean that they're right so i'm going to continue doing what's been working for us for the past year um and keep our routine the way it is so yeah <laughs> that's pretty much all the little comments i saw on there um he also got neutered and today he is going to see the vet so he could do his annual checkup get his vaccines make sure everything's good so that way we can um take him on walks and mosquitoes don't get them. So, yeah. Bubs, is that you? Yup. Hi. Hello. I'm making a video for Cloud. Filming in here? Yeah. Since it's been 10 months. <laughs> He's so happy. I'll let him go see you. You can say hi. You probably don't want your work shirt in here. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. So, um, anyways, that kind of concludes the whole video. I just wanted to share our little updates of things that have changed. Um, I want to continue posting more on here. I just haven't because life has been crazy. And again, I'm pregnant. I was tired for the past like couple months. But if you want to check out the family channel, which also has the other video of when we got him, you could check that out. Um, and again, leave comments of other things you want to see. And also, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. But I definitely want to do a pros and cons next week um of what it's been like having an iggy so it can put into perspective if you're still thinking about getting one or if you have one um it might just change your mind or it might just make you aware i just want to do my best to show people the good and the bad um and see if you're willing to deal with the bad not necessarily bad but you know what i mean so i hope you guys enjoyed this video come here cloud you want to say bye Come here. Oh, is this your nanner? He loves toys, by the way. Like, he loves every toy that we give him. So, we're going to say goodbye. We're going to close out this video. You got to go to the vet. Yeah, you got to go to the vet. And then, um, we will hopefully see you guys soon. Is that yours? Is that your toy? Is that your nanner? And, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Say bye, Cloud.